Hey everyone, welcome to Titus Watch. It's your boy Joseph, and we're about to talk House of Dragons, the HBO Max original, the prequel series to Game of Thrones based on fire and blood. We're going to talk the first three episodes, episodes one, two, and three. Let's get into it, but before we do, I gotta hit you with the usual, which is hopefully you like this enough to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell to get notified. Let's discuss the House of Dragons. First off, so I know very little about the story of fire and blood. I know a little bit about the Dance of Dragons. I know a little bit. I did some research, but I didn't want to do too much. If I'm being honest, the reason I didn't dive into the research on this one is because season eight is something we don't talk about. Let me focus. Episode one. Obviously, they started out with the 172 years before Darnari uh, Daenerys. Daenerys. What 172 years before Daenerys, okay? And I'm not going to go into her long-ass title about the unbirth, the mother dragons, the breaker chains. We don't have time for that. That's a 10 minute video by itself. It felt good in a sense, but the whole episode I felt like was shot to be a welcome back to King's Landing in a sense. A lot of like nice wide shots. Like this is what it used to look like and you you should remember this kind of stuff. So from what I've read on, about the show is that it is an adaptation. I couldn't think of the word, sorry of fire and blood and we're supposed to get you know a bit of the dance of uh dance of the dragons and whatnot which is cool like i like that story however i would have preferred they went a little further back you know what i'm saying to like aegon and the conqueror and i would have preferred to see that or i would have preferred to see the actual battle that leads the battle of the trident and shit but you know focus obviously we start out with a with a big beautiful dragon I kind of expected to see more right off the back, but I, I get how they're kind of building up to it. Like each episode, we see like an extra one or more and more, because there's supposed to be a lot in existence right, right now. It's also supposed to be like the last time that there's so many at once. But I do like the fact that they're kind of setting it up a little bit to like give you more and more. You seeing Blarion the Black Dread, his skull, because I feel like I've seen it before in the others, but I don't think any of them ever quite put it like. They didn't allow you to see the scale when homeboy king uh syrian is standing there and you see i'm just i'm, I'm like big as fuck so it just made me like i want to see him alive <laughs> give me one flashback throughout the season give me one flashback please please i want to see that big boy in the air of course we see the dagger as this is not what it's called but the uh, the song of aria clapping cold boy's cheeks you know what i'm saying like the dagger but that, again, takes me to season eight, which if I'm, I'm being honest, after the first episode, I was hesitant to like really get into the show because I liked pieces of it. But at the same time, taking Game of Thrones out of it, like, you know, my love for that show, but also my hate for the last season or my dislike, no hate for it, but um, taking the like, not just the comparison, but like, you know how Game of Thrones, I feel like right off the bat drew you in and you wanted to know about these characters. You wanted like love and you were intrigued and you're like, okay, you you started falling into it. I feel like this one isn't doing that right off the back, not quite as well. And I'm also kind of like disappointed because I like the story, but in the end, it this is a losing battle. And I won't go any further in ruining the story if you don't know. Spoiler warning. Haha. <laughs> episode two, I don't remember an intro in the first episode, and I'm not gonna lie. I didn't go back to rewatch it to see if there was an intro, but I'm not crazy. There was an intro, right? Like, episode two gave us the intro, which, yeah, I thought the intro was okay. It was kind of whack. Like, the intro for Game of Thrones was amazing. It was beautiful. And it was ever-changing, ever-developing, and it told a piece of the story. This intro, other than, of course, the classic great music, eh, it was whatever. The six-month jump from episode one to episode two, I did not expect. I know we had time jumps, Game of Thrones, but I think what kept them jumps from feeling so heavy was the fact that they weren't like, yeah, you know, it's been six months or it's been a year or it's been, you know, they would be like, yeah, you know, it's been a few months. And then you kind of piece it together. This one was like six months, skipping a little bit. Episode three, it's been like three years. So I was like, sweet Jesus, I'm episode three and we're three years deep. Hold up. It makes it feel rushed is I think what I'm trying to get at. It's not bad by any means yet. It's not terrible. It's good. It just, it's not quite as enticing as the first season of GLT was first episode first season just like right off the bat kind of gives you that 
craving for more. I do feel the show is steadily getting better. Moving on to like when when Renera pulls up on Cyrax, boy, I was like, yes, Queen. Like I was like, damn, God, she she was gangster. All right, like for one, I like the design of Cyrax, and I say that because I do not like the stupid blood worm. All right, it's not. I know that's the design and stuff. That's fine, but Craxes is weird. Because he does look like a, a giant worm and he'd be moving his neck and doing shit like that and making noises I am not a fan of, alright? It's just a combination of fear and a combination of, ew, you're a big dragon, they'll be coming at me like some gusano. And then of course it leads to the betrayal, which, you know, which is obvious and as we get further, it makes more sense. Plus, jumping to episode 3, I'm kind of going quick because there's only a few things that really stood out to me. It's really the, the beginning steps of the craziness. I have no idea how many seasons they've either announced or committed to. However, it looks like by the end of this one, they want to be at the precipice of the big war, especially with the time jumps, like I said. Episode one to two, six months, okay, nothing crazy. Episode two to three, three years, it's a little more drastic. However, I say that, pause, pin in that. This scene, when they cut the baby out, I know Game of Thrones was gory and bloody and lustful. Not an issue. I don't think I was ready for that. Because I was watching it and I was like, all y'all gave it was some milk of the poppy, but y'all just, boy was like elbow deep, like two or three elbows deep. And I was like, y'all really, y'all really got to do it like that? Just didn't feel right to me. Mm -mm. I like the council. I'm trying to stop picturing it. Auto. I don't trust him. I want to, because I feel like he's trying to be good for the king, but I don't trust him. He's giving me too much, uh, too much of little finger vibes. Corliss, Corliss, give me a sec, all right? Because these names, I'm trying to put names to faces, and all that comes to mind is the people I love from the original, okay? And all those last names, all the information that I learned, I read, I researched, and I, I, I threw away vital information in my life to store that my little dude on the file cabinet is like watching this and going like we don't remember any of these names and i'm like it's prequel these names didn't exist yet and he's like so what do you what do, you, what do we do with this information and i'm like get it get another file we're gonna need you no know, we're gonna need another one because i'll say a name and i'm like who the fuck is oh yeah that guy oh yeah her I'm trying to keep up i'm gonna get the dragon's names right from the jump i actually really liked allison until i mean i knew she was gonna become the queen but i liked her until until then, because I felt like she slightly betrayed Renera, but also I, I like Damon when I, you shouldn't, because he's a piece of shit, but I'm all over the place. Also, the fact that we get the Lannisters and you get, was this like Jason? Jason Lannister, I think was his name. I love the fact that he, he kind of walked up to her and, like, you ever been with a lion before? <laughs> and I was like, whoa, chill, take a step back. She's a princess, she's soon to be queen. You can't, don't talk to her like that. Don't do that. That's weird. You're a Lannister. Ha present yourself like one, sir. Please. All that shit aside. When Damon shows up where the crab feeders are at with the, uh, with his dragon, um, Bloodworm, and burns it, and then they all run away, and he like gets shot and then takes off. I was like, bro, you are a dragon-riding monster. And I feel like you lost that initial fight. And then, of course, we find out jumping that he's losing the fight, the whole war, him and the fucking sea snake. I'm gonna remember nicknames before I get na uh, actual names down. But uh, Valyrian, the sea snake, it's Corliss. Corliss? You know who I'm talking about. This guy. But also, that character, oh, I liked him. He had swagger. But then, like, right off the back, he bitches and betrays the king. Like, whatever. Anyways, loses immediately with the arrow to the shoulder. And I was like, bro, you aren't a dragon. And why did, like, did no one? I was like, dude circle around them with fire it trap them first so they can't run why would you just and then land i said bro fire breathing dragon that flies you need to fucking draw a circle and fire so they're stuck in the middle and then slowly rock them out anyways that pissed me off but they made up for it in the third episode i feel like i'm being a little aggressive and i apologize but they made up for it in, in the third episode at the end with when you get Damon's, like, it's not what it's called, but, like, I called it, like, his solo Normandy because it was, like, a suicide mission. And he just, like, pulled up and then whooped out his sword and then said, ha-ha, and then start going to work. I was like, God, bro, I don't, like, you're a piece of shit. 
I don't want to like you, but I'm starting to like him, and that's an issue. Especially when going back to when Homegirl pulled up this is episode two with uh, Syrax, and she was like, "Murder me, bruh. You want throne? Murder me, Theo. I'm right here, unk. What you gonna do?" And he threw the egg at her and said, "You go home, bitch." and walked away. The family dynamic part is cool. Part of me wants to love the show because it's Game of Thrones related. Another part of me is wants to dislike it because it's not Game of Thrones because I still want my proper ending. And then a part of me is like super hesitant in the middle because I like pieces of it. Some of it to me is okay. Some of like the visuals with like VFX and stuff is kind of mediocre at moments. But overall, I think the show itself it's starting to pick up speed. I think it's a pretty good show. And I think it has the potential to be great. And down the line, I'm probably going to love it. However, I'm trying. I like part of me wants to just commit already. But another part of me is just scared. <laughs> I've been hurt before. So that's where I'm at right now. My walls are up. And, you know, the wall. Anyways, I'm intrigued. And that's, that's where I'm at. I'm intrigued. I want to. I got to see more, obviously. But I'm, I'm just nervous. I'm going to be honest. I'm nervous. Because parts of it are really good. I want to hear your thoughts. How do you feel about the show so far? Are you enjoying it? Do you dislike it? Do you hate it? Do you love it? Let me know. Do you agree? Disagree? What were some moments that really stood out for you? Of course, there was a part when they had, was it Rickon Stark? And I was just like, haha. But, you know, I was like, King of the North. But, you know, things like that. Also, I heard that it was confirmed. I can't remember if it's, like, still official. But apparently, uh, Game of Thrones sequel show around Jon Snow. How do you feel? Let me know. Once again, comments, questions, concerns, requests, agree, disagree, down below in the comment section. I love hearing from you. But until next time, stay safe. Be well. Stay tuned. We got seven. We have seven left. Let me know. But until next time, stay safe. Be well. Adios.